welcome to my poster about automated patch clamp recordings of trip channels. My name is Ali and I will give you a quick introduction into automated patch clamp and explain the experiments shown in this poster. In conventional patch clamp, a small glass pipette is brought to the cell surface and a tight seal in the order of one gigaohm or more is made between the cell membrane and the glass of the pipette tip. Following this, the patch of membrane stuck in the hole can be broken to access ion channel activity occurring across the whole of the cell membrane. With automated or planar patch clamp instead of a pipette, we have a planar glass layer with a small hole in it. The cells in suspension are pipetted onto the top of the chip and suction is used to attract a cell to the hole, to make a good seal and to break into the whole cell configuration. The systems are easy to use and can be scaled up to record for multiple cells simultaneously. In the experiments described here, we use either the Porter patch, patch liner or Synchro patch 384 for the measurements. The Porter patch is a semi-automated system recording from a single cell at a time. The perfusion system is temperature controlled, which can be heated as well as cooled. In the first set of experiments shown on the poster, solution was cooled to 10 degrees C and used to activate trip M8 expressed in CHO cells. In panels A and B, solution was first cooled to 10 degrees C to activate trip M8 and then heated to 35 degrees C, which reversed the activation. Following this, trip M8 was activated a second time using cooled solution at 10 degrees C. In the next experiment shown in panels C and D, trip M8 was activated by cooled solution and then blocked by either capsaicepine or heated solution. Capsaicepine could be washed out and the current recovered. A concentration response curve was performed by adding increasing concentrations of capsaicepine at 10 degrees C, which is shown in panel E. The curve was fit with a Hill equation, revealing an IC50 of 12.9 micromolar, in good agreement with literature values. Additionally, trip M8 could be activated using lower temperatures on the Synchropatch 384, shown in panel F. Here, 384 wells are recorded at a time, and the temperature either heated to 35 degrees C or lower to 18 or 12 degrees C. At 18 degrees C, trip M8 was activated and this activation further increased at 12 degrees C. In the next set of experiments, we recorded trip A1 expressed in CHO cells on the Synchropatch 384. Trip A1 was activated by Carvacrol shown in panels A and B in a concentration dependent manner with an EC50 of 308 micromolar for an average of 355 wells. Panel C and D show block of trip A1 by A967079 and AMG0902 respectively. The IC50 for A967079 was 12.4 nanomolar for an average of 320 wells, and for AMG0902 it was 48 nanomolar for an average of 349 wells, both in good agreement with literature values. In the next set of experiments, the patch liner was used to record trip V4. The patch liner is a fully automated patch clamp system for recording up to eight cells simultaneously. Trip V4 was activated by the living GSK 1016790A, a potent and specific activator of Trip V4, and blocked by GSK 2193874, a specific blocker of Trip V4. Trip V4 could also be moderately activated by heated solution. To do these experiments, the solution was heated inside the pipette of the patch clamp robot to the required temperature, in this case 45 degrees C, and then rapidly applied to the cell. Finally, we recorded trip V1 and trip V3 using either ligand or heated solution. Capsaicin was used to activate trip V1 and this was blocked by capsaicepine. 2APB was used to activate trip V3 and this was blocked by ruthenium red. Both trip V1 and trip V3 could be activated by heated solution at 45 degrees C. In conclusion, we have recorded several different trip channels using different stimuli. Trip M8 was activated by cooled solution and blocked by capsaicepine. Trip A1 was activated by Carvacrol and blocked by A967079 and AMG0902. Trip V4 was activated by GSK 1016790A or heated solution and blocked by GSK 2193874. Trip V1 was activated by capsaicin or heated solution and blocked by capsaicepine. And Trip V3 was activated by 2APB or heated solution. Thanks very much for visiting my poster. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me during the poster session. Contact me by email on ali.nanian.de or find me on LinkedIn.